Hey guys, welcome back, it's Helvetica here. Today we're gonna teach you how to wire in a hot water heater for whatever reason you may need to do that. Take this off right here. So you take this little plate off. You got three screws usually, one on that plate, two on the other plate. And then that, that little green screw right there is actually the ground. Don't drop your screws. So once you get this plate here, take some channel locks like this. Simply bend that inner ring out. Maybe. Maybe. Can also use 10 snips if this doesn't work. Yeah, I'm just lazy. <laughs> oh. All right. So that's what it'll look like once you get that inner ring out. You're gonna leave the one on the outside there. Kind of bend it back into place. All right. Where's your wires at? So you got your wires here. Make sure your breaker is off, obviously. Don't want to electrocute yourself. Slide the plate up the wires. Slide the nut up the wires. Come on, baby. Spin the nut onto the threads under the plate, like so. As is. As we do. Loosen up your ground screw there to give yourself some room to work with. Now, he's gonna take it all the way out. Put the loop there. Put the loop over the hole. And hopefully, hopefully if you do it correctly, you'll be able to screw the ground screw right back down and safely secure the copper ground wire to the plate. How to do this in five minutes. Now, note the colors on the water heater and coming out of your house. They don't actually matter. You can go either or. As long as the ground is on the ground, you can do it however you want. I just like to match it up to the blacks because I don't know. Me too. It's Whenever I, I do them, if there's two whites, I put the whites together. If there's two blacks, I put the blacks together. If they're different colors, it doesn't really matter. So simply twist your wiring nuts on. Oh, little note. See how you're... The wire coming from the house is kind of gold instead of a copper. Usually means the house has been struck by lightning. Ah, a nice interesting little tip there. A little pro tip. Pro tip. But it's all right, it'll still work. It'll still work. This one's hardwired into the wall, so you can't actually unplug it. That's why I said you make sure your breaker is off for the water heater when you do this. Some of them you can just unplug. Definitely got to do a little manhandling at this part. It might seem like the wires don't want to fit in there, but they will. You just got to kind of finagle them a bit. A little finagle action. Start one screw on one side. Just going to put a little electro tape on here so these things stay together. Just a little extra security measure. Not completely necessary, but it's a good idea to do. So just gonna shove them down in there like so. And you can go ahead and put your other screws or bolts in. You might have to finagle it a bit to get it to work. It shouldn't cross thread, it should just go right in. Take your other plate, put it on there. Gotta make sure that copper ground wire is in line with that little hump on that plate there so it can go up through there into the ground, uh, ground bolt and secure the plate to the water heater. And that is pretty much it, you are done. So thank you guys for watching this video on how to successfully and properly wire in a hot water heater. You know, maybe you just had one installed or you gotta unwire it for some reason, rewire it, maybe one of the wire nuts melted, who knows, any number of reasons. Hopefully you guys found this information helpful. If you did, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.